everybody, I'm Dave. And I'm Stephen. We are here for the Rhythm Section's Guide to Mixology uh, Drink of the Evening. Stephen, what is the drink of the evening tonight? The drink of the evening is a famous Detroit drink, originated in Detroit in 1968. Really? And it is called the Hummer. I was alive in 1968. I just I was born a... in 1968. Really? Yes. Now, the Hummer is famous worldwide. And, uh, well, a fact I, for you. I, I think it probably is. Yes. A fact for you, in England it is called the Detroit Hummer, and in Germany it is called the St. Jerome, named after the bartender who invented it. Really? Yes. A saint invented this? It must be good. Yes. So, well, let's just press on, Stephen. What is in a Hummer? Well, it is a blended drink. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start hold, with... Hold on, time out. What does that mean, blended drink? Because that's the first time I've heard that term, uh, you know, spoken as a drink uh, uh, characteristic. Well, it is the reason that we got the blender out tonight, if you recall. And yes, we're going to blend oh, all the ingredients in the blender. Blender, I get. Yes. Okay, all right. What I this, was I was not following. I was not tracking that. So thank you. What this drink really is is a, it's a milkshake for adults. Uh, I think uh, you'll really like uh, it. Very nice. Okay, yes. well let's get started. What, so what do I do first? Uh, three to five ice cubes in oh, the blender, oh, if you right, would. All right. Just three to five. Just three. It doesn't five seem enough. like very many. Well, we, we've got other ingredients. I want to go with five because that's the higher number. It's a big blender, small ice cubes. See, that's weird. I would have gone with four because it was right in the middle. Yeah, no, that's, that's why you're... Uh, we've got different personalities. We do. No, no, I've lost count. How many is that? These are slippery little suckers, Stephen. I think I put six in there. I hope that's okay. Perfect. All right. All right. So, now, next is two ounces of light rum. All right. Not the dark rum, not the spiced rum. Just your, your regular light rum. Just regular... Uh, Stephen, I noticed that there is a there is an angled cut on this pouring spout. Is there a is there a certain way that uh, one should uh, one should uh, just for our audience because I clearly know what I'm doing but yeah. but someone out there might not know probably but I don't know I just figured it out Stephen uh, just <coughs> how many two okay uh, the, the uh, on the angled cut on the spout you want the long end uh, down because there's actually a little there's a little air valve in there that kind of helps push it out. Okay. I'm not sure how all that works. I'm not an engineer, Stephen. I'm just a public servant. Uh, sorry. I apologize. All right. Next, we have two ounces of Kahlua. Okay. All right. That would be this one here. What is Kahlua? Stephen? Kahlua is a coffee-flavored cream liqueur. I personally don't like coffee, so if I were making this for myself, I would probably go with something like a Bailey's Irish Cream. Same effect, just doesn't have the coffee taste. All right. That's a good tip. So there's two of these as well? That's correct. All right. I should probably, you know, a uh, small tip that I just learned during this episode, ladies and gentlemen, is if you hold this over your uh, receptacle, if you spill some, it'll actually fall in the receptacle and you won't make such a mess and get uh, on the bad side of your, uh, uh, your lovely... Your trophy wife. Trophy wife. Yes. Correct. All right, now, Dave... What next? Two scoops of ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, please. Really? Yes. In this case, we are going to use uh, vanilla ice cream. Yes. Be at your recommendation. Are these full well, scoops? Are these? Uh, uh, sorry, folks. It's uh, I, I chose the wrong scooper. This is the plastic one. Uh, one of the one, offer a tip to the folks. Would you uh, on scooping ice cream, Stephen? Uh, I think I have family members who worked in an ice cream shop, right. and they dip in, They would dip it in water. And it seems to slide. That out is easier. the tip that I was about to give. All right. Warm Actually, water or cold water doesn't matter. I have Prince. How many scoops? Two. And I think you put three in. At least. Sorry. Whatever. It's going to be very it's creamy. It's going to be a shake for adults. Yes. Now what? Now we blend it. Oh, blend it thoroughly. All right. All right. Hey, Stephen, uh, while I'm doing this, is there anything, is there just any, is there any one thing that you would recommend uh, above all else for our, our viewers uh, in, in the interest of making uh, professional cocktails? Is there one thing that you would you recommend? Know, yes, there was. I was right. thinking about okay. this. Okay. Right. And there's one thing that if, if, if you follow this one thing, Like I said, if you do that one rule, no worries. You don't have to watch any more of our videos. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, he might have just put us out of business. Uh, but I think we're done on the good side. All right. I, I appreciate that tip, Stephen. I, I'm a little uh, concerned that we've lost our edge, so I, as it were. I have seen these served in a Pilsner glass, which you've probably seen, the long, skinny beer glasses. We are serving it tonight in a cocktail glass. All right. All right. Uh, 
that's that's very pretty. That's a very nice that looking. That is a pretty creamy drink, yes. You know, Stephen, that is one of the best Hummers, I think, that I've ever experienced. Well, I'm very happy for you. <laughs> uh, is that it? Just, uh, just wow, that that's looks, it. that looks delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hummer. Yes, Stephen, Detroit thanks for, thanks for introducing us to that, and thank you for pointing out that it's from our very own uh, home state of Michigan and the city of Detroit. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't drink with Stephen. And do not drive like Dave. We'll see you next time. Have a good night.